One man is dead after a reported home invasion that happened earlier this morning. The incident happened near Pendale Road and Gordon Bay's Drive just before 2.30 in the morning. Police say a confrontation broke out after the 27-year-old suspect broke into a home. That suspect died from his injuries. And KTSM 9 News reporter Tirza Ortiz is in East El Paso. And Tirza, their details are limited, but in the case of a home invasion, what rights do homeowners have when it comes to self-defense? That's right, Skylar. Details are limited. However, here in the state of Texas, homeowners and really anyone who feels threatened with bodily harm or even death are able to be protected under the stand your ground law as long as use of force is justified. In the case of the home invasion, the defendants would be in the clear through the eyes of the justice system for using self-defense. The use of deadly force. When can people use it in the state of Texas to defend themselves? According to the Stand Your Ground law, deadly force can be used by anyone in the state when it is justifiably believed the force is immediately necessary to protect themselves when being threatened with death or bodily harm. If I draw my gun and point it at somebody, that is a use of deadly force. Now, whether or not that's justifiable is going to come down to the circumstances of what's going on when I deploy the firearm. Cameron McIntyre, general manager at Gun Central, says people often misconceive using a weapon in the act of self-defense as legal when it is really a justification. One of the justifications afforded via Texas law is if someone attempts to enter your place of residence or does so unlawfully and with force, then you are allowed to use deadly force or would be justified to use deadly force at that point. McIntyre says it's important for people to understand what falls under the scope of the Stand Your Ground law. Texas License Carry Handgun course, they go over various aspects of what you would classify as self-defense. Primarily, you know, what's justifiable use of deadly force and what isn't justifiable use of deadly force. What isn't justifiable use of deadly force might be more important to keep you out of prison. Emphasizing that shooting to kill is never the purpose, but rather protecting the safety of yourself and others. You'll never hear a firearms instructor tell you, oh, you should just totally, you know, shoot to kill. Um, we, we shoot to stop the threat in the most efficient means possible. And again, Skylar, details are limited in this deadly home invasion. At the moment, right now, the scene does seem to be cleared. But however, we will bring you more details on air and online as soon as updates become available to us. For now, live in East El Paso, Tears Ortiz, KTSM 9 News.